Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our session, How to Use SAP Focused Run from Service Provider Perspective. My name is Stefan Lahr, working for SAP, and I'm part of the product management team for SAP Focused Run, as well as for SAP Cloud LM for Operations. And there in this role, I'm responsible for coordination of the rollout activities, let's name it so. I'm very happy with me on stage today is Ronald Weiss from MyBrand. Um, I will start with the presentation. I will try to do my part very fast, and then I will hand over to Ronald and think, Ronald, you will introduce yourself then, uh, in a bit more detail. So let's start. And coming to the agenda, as I said, I will take the first part, so I will give a general uh, introduction about focused run. I will recap that and try to keep it very fast because you have seen it already and we show this every year. Then um, I will a bit more detail speak about the benefits for service providers um, that you can take out of Focustron. And then, as I said, hand it over to Ronald, speaking about my brand and how this looks in reality. If you have the time, then we will come back and I give you also a short outlook what we are planning and in which direction we are going with our development for Focustron. Good. Functional overview. I will skip this animation here and make direct the picture complete. You have seen this picture is similar to the one from Cloud ALM for operations. No. And this is intended to do so because from the concept point of view, both are operation platforms. So we position the Cloud ALM as well as the focused run as being alternatives to the solution manager. And this you see also um, in these different areas. So we support the focused run, mainly the IT department. Uh, you know, in Cloud ALM, we also address the business users, here not. And focused run is a really very performant and very efficient tool for the IT department department to do problem management. Problem management is divided in three main sections. And this you see we are addressed here with uh, the first one, problem detection with the different monitoring applications. And one big difference to Cloud ELM is that we are scoping here in Focus Run heavily on system monitoring. Well, this is not in scope, not in this deep detail in scope of Cloud ELM, but here for Focus Run. Definitely, this is the main differentiator. All other capabilities, similar concept, providing you with problem routing capabilities, then problem resolution capabilities. Also here, we have a big uh, difference, and this is the root cause analysis capabilities. Here with Focus Run, we go much deeper with the analysis capabilities. We provide you with very detailed insights for the on-premise components from SAP. This is simply not necessary with Cloud ELM. We, we have no interest also to provide you with deep internal technical data of public cloud services. This is our business. We need to take care of this. We need to provide you with the availability and the performance. Here with Focused Run, uh, you have the need also, since you are responsible for your on-premise uh, components, to dig that deep, to have, this, to have this deep analysis capabilities available. And you have it. Good, with saying that, let's make the picture complete. So overall, we have the analytics and intelligence capabilities um, to provide statistics. Also here, we have um, a brighter approach in on focused run side. So we have this analytics that you find in the different monitoring applications, where you see statistical data, where you see historical data. But then we also have cross analytics, this is something that we do not have in Cloud ELM where we provide you with OCC dashboard, tactical dashboard, where you can combine data from system monitoring together with data from real user monitoring or from integration monitoring, for example. And then on top, the service level management. Here we are based on service layer and system layer. There we go further with Cloud ELM, with the business service management. Here we have the data, the, yeah, this, this, um, this service level management specific to dedicated services and systems and not the, the whole picture here. It's also related to the fact that we position focused run 
as the tool for the IT department. Good. Then, some words regarding the benefits for service providers. There's one a big different uh, aspect that you have to take into consideration if you decide if you go to Focused Run or to Cloud Alarm. And this is Focused Run uh, needs to be licensed. Also, uh, Cloud ALM, you get, uh, there's no need for, for the license. You get the right to use whenever you have a maintenance contract with SAP or subscribe to any public cloud service. But Focused Run, you need to build usually a business case, something that justifies the license cost. So therefore, the benefits that uh, um, Focused Run provides, especially for service providers, and I have them listed here on the slides. So first one, this is a very simple architecture. So the, uh, the cost of the ownership is really quite small. In fact, there is the ABAP stack, or the HANA foundation, as we name it now, and the SAP HANA database. And we are using SAP SAP UI 5 on the technology foundation for the UIs. We have also a very streamed, uh, streamlined uh, push-based communication. So if you think of a uh, solution manager where the communication was push and pull and so on, so um, we have identified that this caused a lot of performance issues if you go to high uh, data streaming, high data volume streaming. So we only have here push-based communication. This means if you change a certain template setting in your focused run, we push this to the simple diagnostics agent on the managed system side. The agent collects all this data and push this back via usually a reverse proxy to the focused run system then. The communication protocol that we are using for this, um, this will come later, this plays to the security, but so you have no need for any RFC connectivity, native DB, RMI communication. This saves a lot of this uh, capacities here. Then we have the security that I just have mentioned and directly related with the points that I said before. We have changed here also the communication protocol so that the focused run we only support HTTP, HTTPS communication. In fact, this has a big impact. Um, the last business trip before Corona time, I was doing to India and I was there in a conference. There was one of the service providers uh, coming on stage and he was mentioning that after the implementation of Focused Run, he came down from more than 1,000 open ports in his firewalls to less than 10. Now, so big impact, big effect um, from the security perspective. And we also have the clear differentiation and separation from different customers. This is a special benefit for service providers. You know, Solution Manager had, had never offered this. No? And therefore, um, it was never a really appreciated tool for service providers. Here we had from the beginning the clear differentiation in the LMDB namespace. So LMDB has also been completely new developed. Everything has been new developed for Focused Run in 2016. And um, there we have a clear differentiation, different namespaces per user, per customer. And then we have high scalability performance data throughput. I can say, usually I say to the customers, if I do these overview sessions, we have an unlimited scalability. Uh, then they are wondering, they are hesitating a little bit to believe this. In fact, our uh, HANA Enterprise Cloud intern uh, of SAP, they are using focused run. They are using one focused run system, and in the meantime, they have around about, they have more than 60,000 six zero thousand systems connected to this and do the technical monitoring for this landscape. So if I write here 40,000, I'm quite conservative and I have no stomach cake to, to show this. And it's really not just marketing, this is proven by the reality. Then we have also as a big advantage, I would say, this automation approach. This was a paradigm for the development of Focused Run. And you can imagine if you say the scalability goes up to 40, 50,000 systems, there is no possibility that uh, someone is doing managed system configuration, technical monitoring configuration to onboard a certain managed objects manually for this amount of systems. And 
So this is automated. This was related then to the simple system integration application and focused on. We have changed the uh, agent concept, completely new developed agents, has nothing to do with the diagnostics agent, even if the naming is a bit, you know, we are very bad with namings in SAP. Right? So here we have very spent a lot of time and a lot of creativity, and we named this then simple diagnostics uh, agent. So it's a new component. It's very lean compared to the diagnostics agent from uh, solution manager. In fact, you can imagine it like a plug-in in the host agent. The host agent receives the binaries from the focus run system and is then responsible for the installation, starting, stopping, and maintenance. And so you can automatically also reinstall or restart uh, a simple diagnostics agent automatically without that someone gets notice from this. Okay, automated preparation as well as automated assignment. I have said already, if we go in these dimensions, you cannot do this manually anymore. We have service providers, I don't know if you will also mention this, that have the full process of provisioning of a certain hardware for a dedicated customer up to the monitoring completely automated. So there is focused run one part of it. There are other components like automated user provisioning, password provisioning, certificates, and so on. This all has to play together. So they have orchestration platforms around, scripts around, but you can trigger the execution of simple system integration um, from the scripts and then focus run takes over the part for the configuration of the monitoring. As I said, with the simple system integration, this runs fully automatically in the background, comes back, and the monitoring data are available and displayed. And also in case you have changes in the landscape, then we can do an automated reconfiguration. Um, so if you, uh, at an instance, for example, if you have a certain yeah, change in the landscape, we get a trigger in the LMDB, and from there we also can start simple system integration, for example, again, and then cover also these components. Yeah. I spoke a bit longer than I thought, but now is the time to hand over so that you believe me, it's not only SAP's vision and uh, nice to have, I think Ronald will give you an impression how is the reality. Thank you, Stefan. Nice story, of course, but uh, let's uh, dig about it uh, in it uh, with the MyBrand uh, uh, story. Um, first, Ronald Weiss, um, I'm working almost for 30 years in the area of uh, managing SAP systems for customers. Uh, let's say, uh, a uh, small 20 years uh, uh, dealing with solution manager and uh, that kind of uh, stuff. Uh, focus run, of course. That's the, the topic for today. And uh, I like my job because uh, my, do my job doesn't change, but uh, every several years, the, the systems we have to, and the applications we have to manage, they change. So the world is changing continuously and we are dealing with that with, with uh, giving our customers performance, availability, security, etc. So my presentation, uh, I will give you a short introduction about my brand and uh, uh, don't be uh, afraid that I have a whole story of our company, but I will pick up some things that I think it's important for the context of how we implemented uh, SAP Focus Win in our organization. This is not the best story, it is our story, uh, which in the way uh, we, we did it. Uh, first one question to you, who is working for a service provider? Raise hands, okay. Do you use already Fox Run? Okay, great. So, so we, we can, uh, uh, I give you, I can give you a short uh, uh, inside view of uh, what we do with, with Focus Run uh, at the moment. I have also a timeline in my presentation. We saw a lot of timelines uh, last days, but mainly they go uh, forward. My timeline go a few years back because I want to tell you the beginning of the story of SAP Focus Run in our company. And of course, what we have achieved, what our further challenges are, and and last but not least, what's my brand view on the use of ALM tools? And of, of course, our story, because we are, uh, we are an early adapter, we do things in Focus Run that can also be done in uh, Cloud ALM. But 
that wasn't there at the moment we decided to do it in the focus run. So that's not to say that this is the best way. It's our way on, on the things we knew and we had at that moment. So let's start with the introduction of, of my brand. Um, started in 2004 with two or three people. Uh, most important word, sorry, is taking responsibility. That's in our heart. That's what we want to bring to our customers. And let's say, of course, we have strategy. We have several services, functional support, technical support. We do implementations, projects. We learned last years that customers do not only use SAP, but we also have uh, OutSystems, Boomi, all kinds of solutions we deliver in the complete portfolio for our customers. We put the customer in the middle, and that's also what we see in, in Focus Run. We do a lot of things in Focus Run that, uh, let's say, could you say, is that IT or is it, is it business who has to do it? But we could do it because we have a very rich tool with a lot of functionality, so we do it for our customers. Uh, uh, a special thing for related to solution manager is our value uh, added reseller. So we sell also software. We have a solution manager for that with an ITSM module. And we have also there the challenge, how will this be uh, go in the future? Because we do not have ITSM anymore in an ALM, cloud ALM uh, instance. Okay, customer in the middle, customer intimacy, so we love our customers and our customers loves us. That's very nice. We have a lot of certifications from SAP, from other uh, organizations like uh, ISO and uh, ISAE, different. Uh, but we have uh, all certifications from SAP except the business process outsourcing because that's a service we do not deliver. But so we, uh, that's great. I think we also, of course, do some things uh, need to do at sustainability and not only do it, but also prove it in, in, uh, in such a way. And OK, it's not for me the figures and the, and the, and the numbers, but what we see, uh, it starts as a very small company, but we uh, had an immense grow to uh, more than 100 customers with, with uh, thousands of systems. So that, uh, th that uh, will be uh, addressed later. So this is what we are. These are, our, sorry, what we call our ambassadors. So our customers, they say, okay, my brand, that's a good organization. We love it. We do a lot of things together. So we are very uh, customer uh, aware of that. And that's what we are doing. Okay, enough about the MyBrand organization. What did we have? We had a solution manager, central solution manager with uh, the central monitoring of a lot of SAP systems and application databases. But we struggled. We had a major management effort. We need two or three people to keep uh, things running. And it was not scalable anymore. It was not secure. Stefan mentioned already. And, it, and for us, it wasn't longer reliable. And, and what we knew, knew for years ago, SAP Solution Manager was not designed for service provider. It was designed for customers. But we expanded, and we had a lot of fun with it until we, came, we became too big. And then we said, OK. What are we going to do now? We look in the market. Of course, there are third party tools which, where, uh, which can monitor SAP applications and, and systems, but most time they are very expensive. And another problem is they uh, not already, uh, always have the, 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 the whole scope of new products and new versions. So that was not, not a good thing. Then, and now my timeline starts, SAP announced SAP Focus Run 1.0 in Q4 2016. 
and we were happy. And what we did, we had in February internal discussions and directly followed by what was called a position workshop by SAP, with SAP, by Stefan. We met Stefan, he explained what the SAP focus run can do for us. And let's say that was great. We managed to write a business case. We ordered the software in May. So we are really an early adapter. And we start in June with a proof of concept. And we, uh, we are organized in, 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 in the Netherlands with, with three uh, locations. Uh, and from every location we serve our customers. So we, we uh, select 10 customers from the three locations and said, okay, these customers, we are going to bring them to, to, uh, to uh, SAP Focus Run. We had an architecture workshop and a Focus Run set up. And I saw a mail from my colleague we have installed it, and we had our first alert. It was an alert about the uh, focus rent system itself, but OK. <laughs> it was uh, happy. What we did, we didn't need, uh, let's say, um, so much effort to, to reach November for the, this, uh, uh, this deadline, but, but we, had, uh, we missed some important functionality. It was, I thought that it was um, uh, related to certificate-based authentication or something like that. We had to wait for the, the feature pack two. And an important thing, what we, what we needed, what we already had in our solution manager was that we, had, uh, we used the outbound connector to, uh, when an alert is raised, that it is, will be put directly in our ITSM system. So, and we built it, and from the end of the POC, we had everything in place. We had a new version, and with that new version, we also met the requirements of our uh, security policy at this moment. So we defined really an architecture that was safe, and we still use the same architecture for all the new customers we onboard as that we defined several years ago. So that, that's great. That was, that was a good job. So we were live, 2018. What we did, one of the deliverables from that POC was uh, what we call the kind of uh, uh, side check document, in, in a kind of checklist. Where do my, uh, what are the requirements for my managed system to connect them to, to folks run? That was about versions, about users, about all, all kinds of things. Nowadays you can read them on the expert portal, but in, in, the, in that period of time, we had to find out more uh, for ourselves how we do that. And based on that side check, we, as, uh, we gave them to the, our technical consultants, say, prepare your systems, then can we connect them to our uh, SAP Focus Run environment. The timeline is that in, in half a year, and, and that's, for us it was fast because when you think about a solution, uh, solution manager environment with all the problems and all the complex, complexity, and, and within, within a year from, let's say, ordering software to go fully live with all those, those systems, that was a, was a great job. But we didn't finish, of course. That was, let's say, the start. The first uh, sentence, fine-tuning alerts, I think that, that took maybe half a year to a year. What we saw, there was a tremendous amount of alerts came up from, from Focus Run. Focus Run has nice categories, had category availability, performance, but also configuration. So a lot of alerts were, for, uh, for us, they were new, they were, let's say, uh, what can you do with fine tuning? Say, so, okay, switch it off. I don't know what it is, and I, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's important, so switch it off. Now, that's, that's the easy way, and, and I think it's not, not, not the best way to do it. So we dig in, what does this alert mean, and how, what do we have to change on the system to get rid of th those alerts? 
And we can see later on what we achieved, what this has done with, with our services and with our systems, or with our systems, with the systems from our customers, better to say. What we already also did, and uh, I have, uh, let's say, um, I have less time to, to uh, so I can't tell you any details about what we exactly do in, in, in those modules, but what we saw is that we uh, didn't, uh, did not only system monitoring, that, that's, that's the message here, and, and that was also related by that for some customers we built special monitoring items in the old CCMS world for jobs or for other things, and our customers want that also back in our new uh, solution. So we found solutions in job monitoring of, uh, uh, that was called in that days open component uh, monitoring, it's now health monitoring. So we did, we did more than only system monitoring. We used all that kind of stuff. And what we also did was uh, start with configuration and security analysis. Later more about that. Then we took forward, uh, you see in red, our uh, releases. In the next slide, I will tell you a little bit more about that. What we did, um, we are called MyBrand, but we are MyBrand Conclusion, and we are part of a, a, a big Dutch company, more than 2,500 employees, 25 companies within Conclusion. We are one of them. We are the SAP company. And one of those companies they had, uh, it's called Conclusion Mission Critical. They have an operating center for 24 seven. And, but they do not have SAP knowledge. What, what we did, we, we managed our systems until 2020 with, uh, let's say with an, an, an people who are uh, uh, on duty, standby, get a message, SMS message or whatever. And there's a problem with the system and you have to solve it. But what we saw, when you, monitoring, when you monitor systems, then sometimes the system is busy and you get an alert, but the, the problem solves itself and there is no action needed. But when you uh, send an SMS to that, that uh, technical guy, he has to wake up and he has to look and say, okay, system is already okay, I can go back to sleep. These colleagues, they are 24-7 uh, awake. So what we did, we combined, let's say, our uh, outbound connector that's, that's based on, uh, on the, uh, the yeah, good old OS command adapter. So that's a set of parameters that you can send to your uh, operating system and then you can do some smart things with that. What we extended is that we put the the URL for the, for the, let's say, for the alert detail in the ticket. So what you see is, is, a, is an ITSM uh, uh, service, uh, an incident that goes to that operator. The operator clicks on, on, uh, on, on the URL, the view of the alert detail, and he waits for five minutes and see, okay, oh, it's green again. It was a hiccup, something. It is not the false positive. Focus Run has seen it right. The system was busy, I was not able to log on. But again, I do not have to take action. For us, very uh, um, important what we did here, because now, from 2020, we have this in place, and of course, we have to tune some things, and, and 60 to 70% of the alerts will not lead to an action for our specialists by adding some procedural things. They still have a little bit SAP knowledge, say now, but less. They are not the SAP guys, but they help us with 60 or 70% of the alerts coming from the monitor system during the night or the weekend. Another nice thing we, uh, we did, we launched and that was requested by some customers, what we call the customer insight module. So customers are able to log on to our system and do some things like uh, security baselines. We have 
our own security baselines for operating systems, for, for databases, for the level we are, uh, let's say, responsible for. And they have their own on application level. So one of our customers, every year when the auditor came, he has a big Excel with uh, 100, 150 SAP parameters, and he checked in the system, is every parameter, has it, has it uh, the right value? Uh, oh, it's not, why? And, uh, and searching out, spending a lot of time. We built a policy for him for the, those 150 parameters, and now one hit on the button, and he can show to his, to his auditor, okay, it's okay, it's compliant, or if not, uh, we have to change history, and we can see wh when is this, uh, a parameter changed and by who, etc. So that's uh, that, that's that's great. The target group of users is also, uh, let's say, um, uh, not the technical administrators, more or less the the functional administrators at customer side. That has that what they want is okay. Your technical guys have nice uh, dashboards and, and 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 analytics and a lot of information that you can combine. We, we want also have such a view on, on the systems uh, from the point of view what we are uh, responsible for. So that's, that's let's say, a nice uh, way of collaboration with our customers in the focus run system. Okay, um, we grow, enormous growth of, of, of systems because when you uh, become part of a bigger company, then also bigger customers come to you. So we have a big amount of systems and we manage the focus run uh, system still with, with the same people. So more, more systems, not more work for us to do. This is also the good news. And I said that I would say something about uh, our upgrades uh, in the red uh, above. Until 2022, we had the, the, the N minus one. So they, uh, as a P, have in the focus run situation, two um, uh, support packs per year, <coughs> two versions per year. So uh, what we did, we, we were behind. We did two upgrades per year, but not the newest version, but the, 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 the N minus one version. But in 2023, and there was a reason for in 2022, we had a, big data center move. We had a big internal project. We have an, uh, a private cloud uh, with, with, with a lot of systems and we moved to other data centers also to save uh, energy and power and money, etc. and being more flexible. Flexible. So we had, we had n uh, no time to upgrade Focus Run. So we decided at the beginning of this year to upgrade to the current version, the newest version at this moment. And of course, it's now uh, uh, one is it's 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 now in and and for the two will come uh, end of this year so i think that we will also uh, in 2024 in january upgrade to uh, the newest version and that uh, and then we will see what our approach is for the for the future but what we also s saw is that upgrading is, is still become more easy and easy. It's, it's, let's say it's not a standard job, but it's well a standard approach from uh, preparing things, to uh, uh, uptime, downtime, and et cetera, and, and we have that uh, really uh, uh, under control, so to say. One thing we had to do was switch from the the how it's called, the, the uh, ABAP only uh, job monitoring, I think, to, uh, to job and automation monitoring. They, uh, two function, function modu modules that were, uh, uh, let's say, uh, for a period of time together, uh, they were both. But we, of course, we had some, uh, some things configured in the old one. We had to migrate it to, to the, the new one. And yes, uh, there was a report uh, conversion report uh, SAP delivered, but, but it, for us it was uh, a little bit complex or maybe we are not smart enough to, to use that. I don't know, but we decided to start again configuring job and automation monitoring. So we did it by, by hand, manual, a little bit more work maybe, but, but uh, it was also doable. So that, uh, that, was, that was okay. 
Uh, what we also did on the technical side is uh, we have now a an, an, an high available uh, system. So uh, if we have to, uh, let's say, patch an uh, operating system or, or the database, we have uh, less downtime. So the focus run is a very important system for us. Is let's say with a near down and a near zero downtime, is it, it's uh, always available. What have we achieved? Yes, a very reliable monitoring system with good performance. Compare it with our old solution manager, we are happy that we had, could say goodbye solution manager. This is a very good product. It's stable. I say uh, often as a focus run is, is the big data for us for support. There's so much information in focus run in the data stores about our systems. I mentioned the parameters for, for, for system validation, but we use it also for um, the security nodes. Uh, we have the famous patch Tuesday, and we receive a mail from our security colleagues. There are and there is hot news and there are a lot of, of SAP nodes where we have to deal with. The first thing we do is uh, with the policy files, and we, had, we, we did some smart things that we can, let's say, uh, generate them in, in a kind of way. And we want, what we want to know is, okay, there is a, a hot news or, a, let's say, a security note with, with high priority. Which systems do have that component or which system are on that version or which system do not have this note? Find out in, in, in all the systems. Now, Focus Run has, has the information, so that, that's, that's, that's great. What I said, this, uh, our customer systems become more and more stable because all the alerts and all the things, uh, also in cooperation in other areas, Focus Run tells us, okay, that, uh, you have to do this and this and this to, uh, uh, to make it more better. Much less management. Okay, upgrading, I said already, it's, it's, it's less complex. And we have a good relationship with, with SAP. We can respond quickly if we have questions, if we want to find out some new functionalities, then uh, we have the right uh, entrance and we are, uh, let's say, in contact with the right guy, help us with, uh, with some things. So that's great. We have also, yes, let's say challenges, maybe some, some problems. Um, for me personally, the management of authorization, let's say in the, we have that customer insight module and what Stefan already told that, that, that the, the customer namespaces and, and how they are separated, that's great because when my customer logs in in the focus run system and he has to select the scope, he doesn't see any other customer or whatever that's separated from the uh, top level. That's great, but what I uh, mean here is that, um, for example, we, we were busy with, with, uh, with automation, with Ansible, and uh, we are developing a playbook for uh, uh, setting a an, um, an, an work mode automatically via, via an API. There's a document from SAP that says, okay, there's that user that you use for that, uh, for that function call has, uh, needs this, this role, okay, we do that, but it doesn't work. We have, and we have to trace and to, to, to trial and error, find out which, which uh, authorizations uh, are needed. And if you look at the, all the roles, the roles are, uh, for every module, you have a view role and a change role and say, okay, that's enough doing my job. But that's not, not always the case. This takes us some, uh, sometimes more time than, uh, than what, what we like to have there. We look for alert co correlation. For us, it's a wish because uh, when a system goes down, yeah, three alerts, it's, it's, that's, that's normal. But for us, it's that complex because we have um, one direction to our ATSM tool. So what we did do with our outbound connector is, 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 uh, is one way. We send the alert 
to the uh, ticket system, there's a ticket, then it, then it stops. For alert correlations, you have to manage, okay, this is an alert from a group, uh, of, is, is, and it's the first alert, and the second is from the same group or for another group. What's the, the status in my ITSM system? So you have to build a di uh, bidirectional solution, and we didn't succeed in that. We, we, there's still a wish, but, but for us, it's, it's uh, let's say, uh, on the table and uh, do some other things. Um, but, uh, third bullet, a little bit the same like um, uh, solution manager. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's more or less in the technical area. And our functional consultants, they are not used to work with kind of tools. But there's a lot of them to do with, uh, with, with SP Fox Run. Of course, uh, also with, with, uh, with ALM. But uh, that's what we, what we see. Uh, we, are we are busy with, with dashboards uh, for our customers. But there's a strange thing. We are a service provider, and we have a module like uh, service availability management, and we don't use it. I think that's, that's, that's stupid. We make handmade service lever uh, level reports, and we have all kind of functionality here to, to do it in, in, a, in a smarter way. But OK, that's. Uh, and, and the last one is use uh, Focus Run in combination with, with uh, SP Cloud ALM. And I can explain it uh, more or less better in, in this. Uh, last slide, my brand's view on the use of ALM tools. What I said, early adapter of Focus Run. So that means that there was no SP Cloud ALM at the moment. So we put a lot in our Focus Run environment. And we still do. Because when you look at focus run, we say, okay, for technical support, there's no question, it's standard. In the functional uh, support area, we have the choice. Right? For job monitoring or for integration monitoring, we have the choice where, where we do it. We prefer to do it in SAP focus run when, let's say, also the, the, the process and the handling of alerts is in our in our company, in our processes, because we have to link with our ITSM system, et cetera, so we can, we can make it uh, more workable for, for us. But, of course, when a customer wants to uh, monitor his, his business jobs with SP Cloud ALM, no problem. That's, that's okay. So, for us, and, and maybe uh, next year we, th uh, we think a little bit other about this, I don't know. For us, is um, from a service provider perspective, the the best way to manage systems and applications is do it with one central system. And when you go to cloud ALM instances with several customers, then we have a kind of de decentral landscape of uh, all kind of monitoring. So, but that's from our perspective. If Again, if customers want to use it, of course, we will support them with that. Let's say for implementations, that, that not, not, uh, for us, not a question. As we do, uh, if we do uh, implementations, then it is, uh, is, is cloud ALM, but sometimes customers have other tools, and then we have to use them. Uh, I told a little bit about Solution Manager, the old one that's we get rid of uh, because it was our central uh, uh, monitoring system. But we have also, um, what I said, a solution manager for our uh, value-added reseller, still up and running. Um, but we have also customers, of course, they use uh, Charm or Focus Build or other, uh, uh, other functionalities in, in, in SAP Focus, uh, of in the SAP Solution Manager. Um, that's not in our, it's not part of our service delivery, that's customer made for the customer itself. So we are not, uh, let's say, uh, except this solution manager, we don't use solution manager anymore in our service delivery. Our customers do, of course. And of course, we are go also going to, to support them by moving in the future to uh, SAP Cloud ALM. So I think that's the story of my brand. Well, thank you very much, Ronald. I think. It was also for me really impressive to see it now in such a, uh, in such a presentation, this long history that we have. Um, very nice. 
Thank you very much. Uh, it's coffee break already, I know it, So, but I just want to complete this session. Two slides, I think, um, d will not speak uh, so much about this. From the functional roadmap perspective, we have a lot of innovations also in the area of Focus Run that will come up with the next releases. So the next release uh, is planned for end of this year, so uh, Focus Run 4.0, Feature Pack 02 will come. You see uh, all the capable, all the the hotspots um, we have put here on the slide, so allow to assign second template system monitoring, mass data processing and job and automation monitoring. Uh, also what you have said, job and automation monitoring, this is a use case that we have unified then with uh, 4.0 renamed and e extended heavily from the functional point of view. Then the generic log file scanner integrated in exception monitoring also things that comes from feedback from you, from, uh, from service providers, from customers or focused on that we are implementing here. Also that what we have stressed out several times already over the last days, this open telemetry concept and this will also have a certain influence in uh, focused run because focused run then also can consume the data in the future more and more from the for the cloud services via SAP cloud era. Um, we have advanced alerting so I spent now the complete 45 minutes with, without saying artificial intelligence and AI and all this stuff. But now also here we come into this direction, so we have the use cases we will adapt this year. Um, going away from this um, strictly configured thresholds, especially in the area of synthetic user monitoring and real user monitoring, coming to an approach where the system learns somehow by itself what is the usual behavior and where it makes sense to put the thresholds on. So to avoid that you get further alerts, alerts that you don't need to care, but uh, somehow pop up. And this goes on. No? So the journey uh, continues. In 2024, we also plan there uh, two support packages. The message is also clear here. Um, do not get mistaken with the end of maintenance of solution manager. This has no effect to focus run. Focus run goes farther, will be maintained uh, far longer than 2027. And next year, what we are planning is user interface unification and simplification. We know we have a gap there uh, uh, in, in some areas, but um, it's not really um, hindering you from, from using it. So then outbound APIs for all use cases, open our infrastructure, providing the data to the outside world is a, it's also a general structure, uh, strategy that we have in the operations part now to give you much more flexibility, you know, much more flexibility, how to handle this data, uh, how to analyze this data, so how to store this data, maybe also for a longer period of time, you know, this could be also licensing relevant. Threshold less alerting to reduce e-font. I have mentioned this already in the context of uh, real user monitoring. This will also affect other use cases and in, step-by-step in we try to bring more intelligent into this, into this tool. I will show this slide anyway in the next session uh, that I have. So this will be um, the last session where we speak also about your feedback. So we will go a bit more details about this. If you have the time, come to the session and then you will see that again and we can discuss it and we also want to know what you think about this and where you see the need for further capabilities and functionality. And this is really the last slide, so uh, I skipped already the animation. So what is currently available in the context of each of these uh, use cases that you find on the left side, you see we have a huge coverage. Yeah? And uh, Focused Run is the tool for the on-premise centric customer and we really provide you with capabilities to monitor, to do root cause analysis for all these different uh, technology types that SAP has here in the market on your customer side. And it's also ongoing. No? It's an ongoing journey. Also the focused run, of course, we have to react to further acquisitions, to further own developed uh, services and so on. And we will cover also in focused run these services, the public cloud services. So focused run is the operations platform also for hybrid customers, on-premise centric hybrid customers to be very precise here.